officially the star of the Wrexham return. Today we have the end of our transfer window and the first game of the championship season as well. It's a big big day for all involved. I've been very busy on stream with this save, getting a few signings in, getting big players in that the stream have shown me. So we're going to go through and show you guys a few players that were signed before the 1st of July and then we've got the rest of this month to try and find some huge signings to make us a dominant championship side yet again so we can return to the Premier League and hopefully stay up next time. What is going on there guys, Kenfi here and it feels so good. Welcome back to Wrexham. It's a brand new series. It is for the return of Wrexham. If you guys are here for the first ever time, I have a Wrexham save or I had a Wrexham save that we had for seven seasons. We climbed Wrexham all the way in to the Premier League and sadly that Premier League season was horrendous. 16 points after 27 games basically relegated. So we resigned as manager there as a club legend and three or four weeks later, we've retired, returned sorry, as William Kemp II, the twin brother of the former manager. And hopefully today, we can get things going. After a good chat with Ryan Reynolds, we are buzzing with the transfers. We are currently made. We have sold a lot of good players. So there is a lot to catch you guys up on, including Abdul Salam leaving the absolute legend. We've had Daryl DK leave the door. We've had Ali Gundagu leave the door. And it's been a mental couple of days just to go to transfer history and show you guys some of the guys that have left since I have joined. Um, so we've had Dino Machella has gone to Blackburn. Never quite good enough. Eventually has been sold. Reese Cavanaugh has gone on loan. Conor Roberts has gone on loan. Abdul Salam sold for just 24.5 million, which is mind-blowing because at the end of season seven, this guy's worth 61 million. But the relegation release clause has killed us. Zach Awe has left. Sylvester Chindo and Ben Debrach have gone out on loan. Gundogu and DK gone, like I've said, but a few signings have come in. Before we get into the signings, I want to say a massive thank you for you guys for the support on the Return of Wrexham video and today, obviously, episode one. Can we smash the views on this? Smash the likes on this? Share it everywhere. There'll be an announcement on Twitter. This is back 5 p.m. Anyone watching this video who's got Twitter, Twitter is down in the description. Head over there, retweet it, get this blowing up, smash the likes as well. We want to try and hit records with the return of Wrexham. It means a lot if you guys can just smash the support for me. So thank you very, very much. We have made some huge signing. You've seen a few names already. Jonathan Tamang is coming in as a good young striker. He's an Indian, 20 years of age. Um, decent pace, composure, not great finishing, but he's mainly for the 21s and potentially just to be sold, to be honest. Um, but it's a decent little young player in on loan and we can loan him out, see what he can do. Um, we've signed, uh, so Liam Parry is going to go out on loan. Um, Sole is leaving because he wants to leave, sadly. Um, a bit of a killer that he wants to go, but he doesn't want to be here. And I'm trying not to keep anyone that's unhappy here at the club. Um, Sam Curtis wants to leave, apparently. He hasn't expressed that before, but he's unsettled. And again, I just don't want to keep anyone here that doesn't want to be here. We'll take a big, big payout if he does move on again. Um, the transfers I've made already will go through now as well. So in the transfer history, we have just made the signing of Valentin Carboni. And we are going to be using the alternate Eric Ten Hag formation that I built myself. And we're going to be using that. So the advanced playmaker on the right is exactly where this guy is going to play. And boy, does he look good at it. Six foot one, 15 dribbling, 14 first touch, 16 passing and technique, great flair, determination. He doesn't need all the pace in the world, but that acceleration is going to be key for him on that right wing. And I hope he can produce out there. And um, obviously, Jonathan Tang, we've shown you already. Rian Brewster has joined the club. He is going to be uh, up front for us. I think he's going to be, it's difficult. He's going to start with Taurone. Both of them are going to sort of play alongside each other. They're not going to play every single game, but both of them are going to rotate in and out. Bruce, obviously 29 years of age now, has had a long, long career at Sheffield United, and it's time for him to make himself a big name at a club. He's doing well there, but he's going to come to us now, and he's going to dominate the championship this season, I hope. Um, yeah, but him and Taurone are going to play games uh, alongside each other. Victor Hugo, has come in. This is a recommendation from Stream. Um, he's £425,000. He's six foot. He's going to play in this shadow striker role as a backup. 
to the silver who we signed last season. Uh, what I'd recommend you doing is just go back, maybe watch the last episode of uh, season seven if you're not up to date at all. I will go through the squad today and show you guys all the players we do have, but there's been some big changes already. And Victor Hugo is going to be a backup centre attacking midfielder for us. Um, and that is all we've done so far in terms of completed transfers. In terms of transfers coming in, I'm trying to sign with Juan Palacios as well. He's wanted by many, many clubs. Uh, 12 clubs, in fact, he's wanted by big clubs in Syria and in the Premier League. But I think as a centre midfielder, this guy looks really, really good to play that ball in midfielder on support role. He can just sit there, 20 years of age. He gives me sort of Casiedo vibes at uh, Brighton. So I think he could be very, very good for us. The team that we have got currently uh, looks quite different to what we left with last season. Obviously, the formation we're playing is the custom GYR Eric Ten Hag. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I named it that. But the Eve Weg 10. So we've got super keeper on defend in goal, full back on support, two ball players in defence on the centre backs, full back on attack on the left, centre mid on support on the left centre mid, ball and midfielder on support in the right centre mid, shallow striker on attack in the cam, that is meant to be Veghorst, advanced playmaker on attack on the right, inside forward on support on the left and advanced forward up front. There's lots of individual instructions as well. Um, so the striker has got to dribble more, shoot more often, roam from position. I'm not going to go through all of them. In fact, actually, if you do want to see that, head over to the tactic video. It will take me a long time to go through this all. You can see how we're playing down the left-hand side as well. So positive, pass into space, run at the defence, work the ball into the box, overlap down that left-hand side so Rosman can get past that inverted forward. Slightly higher tempo, fairly wide playing uh, take short kicks, distribute to centre-backs, distribute to full-backs, counter and counter-press. A high defensive line, a high press. Prevent the goalkeeper much more often. Uh, get good distribution, get stuck in and step up more. The players we have got currently staying in the side. Uh, Robert Berrio is going to come back off his loan at St. Gallen and be our number one goalkeeper. Um, Sam Curtis at right back might be leaving the club now. Uh, obviously £6 million, but very much money if he does move on again. He could be out the door. Al Jasmine's finally going to get his start in berth at centre-back. In fact, we'll swap them two over because uh, Lemishko Currently, it's still at the club. We've offered him out for £25 million, but no one is taking him for that. There's loans coming in for him. But you know what? If we can keep Lemishka, I think that's a very good player to keep. Blas Rosman is going to be the starting left back today. Fullback on attack. Good young player. Um, probably not as progressed as much as we'd like. But as a fullback on attack, I think he could do a really, really good job. The Welshman Tom, the Welshman, the Welshman Tom Jones in that ball and fielder on support role. I think he suits it very, very well. So he's going to play next to captain Joe Bellingham, centre mid on support. He's going to be very good for us this season again, hopefully. Brand new signing Valentin Carboni on the right wing, advanced playmaker on attack. De Silva does want to leave currently still, but we can't sell him for 20 million. And to be honest, he suits this shallow striker role on attack down to a T. Great aggression, so the pressing's going to be high. Good finishing and composure. Doesn't need to be quick. He just needs to be good on the ball, good first touch, passing technique, link up play, and score goals if he eventually bursts through. Inside forward on support on the left, we need to sign one of them. And Brewster currently leading the line. His pace, his finishing, his composure is going to be absolutely key to our scoring goals this season. So hopefully, he can lead the line very well for us. We have got £37 million in the bank, £165,000 pounds left on the wage budgets and trust me we're not done here Rene Sole hopefully leaving the club Leo wants to leave the club a very good player would actually suit this role down to a T but he wants to leave and he's kicking up a fuss and I've not got much attachment to him so I think I'm happy to let him go um, the sugar show Owen O'Malley wants to leave if he doesn't leave for 11 and a half million he will come back in as a left back and Rosman will drop to a backup because this guy's been with us through thick and thin and I'm not selling him for any less than £12 million. Pounds. Dominic Lukovic, uh, again, wanting to leave because he's been relegated. 34 years of age. I think we can move past him and trust Robert Berrio in goal. Renzo Malanka, a guy we hardly saw anything of. We signed him on the last episode uh, and he wants to leave straight away. So £6 million, pounds, he's going to be out the door. Ben Falchner, hopefully we can actually get a work permit for this guy. Um, we've not been able to get one yet for him. He's worth a lot of money. In fact, let's apply for a work permit for him. Uh, Martin Mason's going to be going out on loan. Very good young Welsh midfielder. Would suit this sentiment and support role very well. But he needs another year out on loan. I think that is what we're going to be doing now. Offering them out. Hopefully they can pay all of his wages. That would be very, very handy. Um, Jean Ove Kvanvold, again another late signing in the season uh, series. He is going to be coming in. Uh, he's going to go out on loan, actually, hopefully, anyway. Bailey Dunton, 
potentially a sale on Bailey. Um, he's not progressing as much as I'd like. His stats are really, really good. Um, but you know what? He's not worth a lot. So we'll just hopefully loan him out again. And he can just keep progressing, uh, getting more and more game time. Hopefully, he can go out there and prove to be a very good player. And now Jonathan Tamang as well, wanting to go out on loan. So we'll get him out. Kieran Morgan, another good young loan player going out on loan. Uh, he looks good still. Um, and that is it in terms of the good players in the youth system. There's a lot of players to move on. There's a lot of players still to buy. It's going to be a busy, busy episode. And like I said, if it isn't too long, we are going to play the first game of the season. I think we're going to do this slightly different to what I used to do. I'm going to pretty much now go away, make lots and lots of signings, and bring you guys back with a full, completed side. And I'll run through the signings from there. So I'm going to go ahead, have a very fun month of July, and bring you guys back with hopefully a team ready to challenge at the top of the championship currently we are predicted to come in fifth place so we need to change that and get up to that number one just a very very quick one from myself you can make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and also follow me on twitch and twitter we've been streaming a hell of a lot more in fact when this video comes out i think we're streaming this week we're streaming on wednesday also and saturday we're doing a massive massive stream where hopefully we can celebrate hitting affiliate so make sure to come over to twitch as well Let's get back into the video and I'll show you guys the new signings we have made. Well, that was a long, long month. A lot of signings. A lot has gone down, but I'm here. It's the first day of the season. We are home to Stoke. And for some reason, our um, prediction in the championship has actually gone down to ninth. Now, when you see the team we've created, you're not going to agree with that in the slightest. Um, first of all, let's go through the transfers. There is something in my eye, which is infuriating. We have sold £69 million pounds of players, brought in... 49. You can see we just brought in Tamang and Carboni the last time you were here. Well, now there's lots more. There's Juan Palacios, who is going to be a rotational centre mid with Tom Jones. Uh, he looks very good. He's the one that I said looked a bit like Castiedo, and I think he's a very, very good sign. We've signed Sinisia Milovic as well, a good 18 year old young player. He's gone out on loan, uh, straight in £4 million, pounds, gone out on loan. Santiago Frangolo, I think that's like a fantastic right back. Um, he's coming out on loan with an option to buy of around £10 million pounds from Porto. Uh, Vuk Topic is a backup right back. He's a 19 year old from Serbia. He looks very good as a backup. Ibrahim Obiang is a backup left back on loan from Tottenham with an option to buy at £20 million. Pounds. Quite pricey. We shall see. I don't think he's worth the 20 mil, but if he's very good, we'll get him. Samuel Bassi, a very good six foot four right winger. He could do the shadow striker role. Certainly can do that, but the right wing playmaker on the right is where I see him fitting in, and he looks very, very good. And to be honest, I signed him not thinking I was going to get this guy. He is brilliant. He, is, he was wanted by so many clubs. Alex, he's got a mohawk. He's Spanish. He's 19 years of age. And boy, does he look good. Again, playmaker on the right. He looks fantastic. Got it. Potentially even training him as being an inside forward on the left as well. Very strong right foot. Reasonable left foot. Um, Sergio Stan is a backup goalkeeper. And David Heaton is the starting left winger we have signed. Inside forward on support. That finishing does not matter. He's hardly going to be shooting. That that position in the tactic is not that important uh, in terms of finishing anyway. He's going to link up the play, etc. It's exactly what this guy can do. He's quick enough. His composure is very, very good. He's got good flair, off the ball, vision, passing technique. And that is what we wanted. Last time we were here, um, loans-wise players were going out on loan. I think Sam Curtis hadn't quite left yet. He has gone for six million. The Sugar Show is left for 11 and a half million. Parry, Morgan, Mason and Dunton all out on loan. Ben Falchner, we could not get that work permit for him. So he took 13 and a half million pounds, which given we signed him for 1.5 million, sent him out on loan twice and sold him for that is fantastic business. Joey Jones and Owen Berry out on loan. Rene Sole has left to join at Borussia Mönchengladbach. Lilikovic has gone to Mallorca. Uh, we've seen Malinovic. Jonathan Tamman has gone on loan to Wickham. Zamorano has left to HSV. Malanka has gone on loan to uh, Rangers. Leo, I'm quite happy. He's gone out on loan with no option to buy to Augsburg, paying about half of his wages, so that's quite good. And Jonesman, Roberts and Parry out on loan also. Uh, left coming in, currently I've got nothing going on, but £300,000 in the wage budget, £38 million on the transfer budget. There is room to play with if we don't get off to a good start. Radmore and Collier, could also be going out on loan. And finances look absolutely fantastic. We've had that parachute payment for dropping down into the championship. We are going to spend through a lot of that money, I imagine. But hopefully, we can get off to a winning start. And today, that is exactly what we're hoping to do. It's going to be Reese Williams and Al Jasmi at the back together. Um, the Robert Berrio in goal. Frangolo at right back. Blas Rosman at left back. 
Palacios and Bellingham in midfield. Carboni at right wing. Uh, we're going to actually play um, Victor Hugo in camp today as a Italian striker because the, the silver is a little bit recovering from injury. David Heaton is the forward on the left and Brewster up top. I think this is a very good, young, progressive side. There is a lot of talent here and I think we can have another very, very good championship season. Not to mention the tactic I built is fantastic. I'm hoping this season can be a very good one. Today we've obviously got the transfer window and first game of the season. Wednesday's video is going to be the end of January transfer window. Um, and then Thursday will be a rebuild. Friday is going to be another busy one. That is probably going to be in the middle of October, start of November. We're going to try and go forward a fair bit for that one. Um, so we don't, you know, drag on this first season too much because we should be a very good side. If it's looking like we're not, I'm going to try and keep sort of six, seven, eight episodes this season. Hopefully six if we can be as good as we hope we can. Um, but yeah, really, I just want to get through this first season. Have it as almost a bit of like a taste of season. I thought that was a red card for Joe, but 10 seconds in, he has picked up an early book in and we are hopefully going to put that behind us. Good press in there from Victor Hugo. And he's through on goal. Not a great touch. He was meant to be not starting today. He's coming at the last minute. And oh my God, it's a long ball forward. Mateta, I do not know what Robert Berrio has done there. We should be winding up suddenly a long ball over the top from the goalkeeper. And Stoker through on goal. And they have scored. A great ball to be fair from Eurisha. The defence may be a little bit too high. Al Jasmine and Williams may be sleeping a little bit. Robert Berrio sort of stuck in no man's land. Should have just stayed on his line. We're 1-0 down very early on. Um, Brewster with a free kick. Goes nice and short to Juan Palacios. Can he get a ball in the box? He can't. And Travis is on the counter from Stoke. This could be a wake-up call as to maybe that £35 million needs to be spent. But Heaton does very well there to get back in and get the ball. And we can build again with the next-gen centre-back, Al Jasmi. From the back, Reese Williams, Berrio, long ball forward. Can Brewster win it? He can't win it. Palacios picks it up. Ball over the top to Brewster. Gets it down that left foot. And it's a good save there from Eurisha. That should have been a goal, but a very promising start from Rian Brewster. Obviously, him and Torone are going to be battling for that starting spot. Al Jasmi nearly draws the game level, but a good save from the Stoke keeper, and he could be a problem today. Joe Bellingham with the corner ball, whipping it in. Al Jasmi winning it again. Reese Williams eventually gets on it, and the man who I tried to sign for a million pounds scores, sadly, offside, um, which is very frustrating, but the corners are looking good again, and Reese Williams did score 16 goals from corners in the last championship season we had, so hopefully he can be a danger from them again. We are massively on top in this one. Stoke with a quick early break and a lead is disappointing to see, but hopefully we can just put that behind us, get a goal this half, and then second half we can go out there and blitz some. Shoretire tries to find a ball behind the back line, but it is well picked off, and Carboni with a great ball there to Rian Brewster. The keeper comes out of his box, and Rian Brewster, calm, composed, a half-turn volley. He gets his first goal for Wrexham, and he sticks us 1-0 against a very good Stoke side. A great ball there from the new man, Valentin Carboni. If you don't know him, get to know. He's a very good young player at Inter Milan, signed for just 4.9 million pounds. An absolute steal, and we have been dominant today. It is 1-1, obviously an early goal from Stoke, but looking at the stats, we deserve to be leading this one. We've come out this season a 4-2-3-1, back with a vengeance. We want to get back into the Premier League. We want to get back into the big time. It's about time we do that. 45th minute, half time is there. I'm happy. I'm happy with how we've been playing today. Not too fussed about changes. It looks like hopefully we can turn this team around to be back to what we used to be. I really want to get us back in the Premier League this season. I don't want to spend too long in the Championship, and I think we can do it. The media you know what, maybe we don't mind being a bit of an underdog. 63 minutes in, not a lot happening in this second half. So we are going to make some changes. Um, I'm going to get on De Silva for Bellingham and play him in midfield. I'm also going to bring on Tom Jones, just get a bit more legs in there. Um, and then we're going to bring on Carboni's going to go in the cam role. And we're going to get Alex out on the right wing. Um, I do want to bring on Tarone at some point as well. So we give Brewster another 20 minutes. Get Tarone on for the last 10. Maybe he can run them ragged. We're going to go attacking as well. Just 20 minutes to go in this one. A much quieter second half compared to the first. But there is a highlight now. And it's Blas Mosman with a throw in. Finds heat and ball in from Rosman. Brewster gets his head on it. Keeper tips it onto the post. 73 minutes in. That could have been the chance to go one up. We're going to put Brewster, uh, Brewster on that left wing spot and get Tarone up top and see if he can make a difference. 15 minutes to go. 
the dominant side. Stoke with just two shots all game. De Silva with a corner ball. Al Jasmi leaps up. And the next gen centre back, Seed Al Jasmi from the United Arab Emirates, gets his big, beautiful head on it and puts us 2 1 up. A great ball in from De Silva. A tactical masterclass to bring him on. And Al Jasmi has never been a starter for us. But this season, I'm putting my faith in him. And he's starting in centre back. Hopefully not next to Reese Williams for too long. But for now, it is Reese Williams. And he is going to be very, very good for us, Al Jasmi. A ball in there from Stoke. It falls all the way to Nigel Lonjwick. And he's not been picked up. The defence just does not react to it. And pretty much two shots from Stoke today. I think that's actually their third. And they scored two goals. It was a ball at the back post. A very odd one. He just managed to get himself free. Brings the ball down very well. Robert Berrio does not cover himself in glory. Maybe a big new goalkeeper is needed on deadline day. 88th minute. I would like to get a win from this one. We're going to go more direct. A little bit quicker. A little bit wider. Just see. Very attacking the last two, three minutes. Can we get anything from this game? Or are we going to start a championship season with a draw? We don't know quite yet. From Golo finds Carboni. Challenge goes flying in, but Carboni eventually beats his man. Says to Alex, deflection of the post. Oh, and I thought Tyrone was going to get on the end of it. Alex's haircut is absolutely fantastic. That mohawk is strong. That is a good hair game. Right, Reese Williams, what have you done? Finds a ball in the box. Reese Williams, that is why he's not going to be a starting centre-back. I think he's lost his confidence. He's doing a Phil Jones on us, I think. 94th minute, Berrio from the back. Finds Williams. Berrio goes long. Alex with the mohawk. Can you bring it down? Why didn't you bring it down the chest? And the game draws 2-2. A deserved win for us in that one. We have not managed to sneak it over the line. I'm going to say I'm happy. This team needs a little bit of TLC after last season. A little bit of tummy love and care. Um, but a draw in the first game against Stoke. It's not the end of the world. We are going to have a very good season this year. I am sure of it. Thank you guys for watching. I am buzzing the fact that Wrexham has returned. I hope you guys are too. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you next time.